Linda McKinney from House of Tang. You so silly. <laughs> Demetrius in the field. Hey, Demetria. Hey, Ramona. How you doing? I'm good. You know, how long, how many episodes have you guys taped of House of Pain? Just, oh, my gosh. You're celebrating how many episodes? We just celebrated 200 episodes a couple of weeks ago, so we're, we're well over. Where they do that at? at? Nowhere. History right there. Wow. 200 episodes? Okay. It's very rare to happen. Very rare to happen. Now, I don't remember seeing this, but have you ever, like, on camera, have you and Alan Payne, like your husband, on the, the show, have y'all kissed and stuff? We done kissed. We done led up to stuff that ended up in twins. We, yeah. Yeah, done everything, on, but not on camera. Though. No. Oh, God. The, oh, God. The day, or, uh, but what I'm saying is, like, we, we show the affection. <laughs> we show the affection side of, of their marriage. Yeah. Yeah, but it is a family comedy. That's what. Exactly. It's, so how has it been, like, uh, you know, you guys off, you know, off the set? You know, the whole family, House of Pain. Like, you know, do you guys hang out or does everybody pretty much fly out and you got to see each other anyway if you take 200 episodes? Well, the beauty of the situation I'm in right now is that everybody is family. It's not just the cast. You know, what you see in the forefront is what's normally recognized as the family unit. Mm -hmm. But the crew, the directors we have coming in, Kim Fields, Miss Chip, Mr. Perry, when he directs, it's all a family thing. Mm -hmm. So just like family gets together, we'll have our barbecues in Grant Park. And uh, <laughs> and sometimes everybody kind of goes and does their own thing. We, right. we respect each other enough to know when those moments are important. Okay, so let's, like, run this down. The season premieres uh, tonight. Yes. The season premiere is tonight. Yes. Oh, wow. On TBS. Very funny. You guys have been nominated. Five NAACP nominations. Uh, Tyler Perry's House of Pain, Outstanding Comedy Series, David Mann, Outstanding Actor from uh, Meet the Brown. Yes. Of course, I'm, I'm talking about, like, a... The whole entire Tyler Perry Studios, um, you know, conglomerate. Yeah. Uh, we've got For Color Girls, Outstanding Motion Picture, uh, Tyler Perry, Outstanding Director in a Motion Picture, Kimberly Elise, Outstanding Supporting Actress. Isn't it, wasn't that amazing? Wow. So you guys are really part of a movement. We were talking about all the people. I was talking to Babyface mm -hmm. a little while ago, and I'm like, you know, it's funny to see it went from LaFace to Tyler Perry now. So you've got people coming down here for a whole nother reason. So how does it feel to be a part of that? It's great to see people coming and paying it forward. You know, the, the people who paved the way, like the baby faces, who made it possible for Mr. Perry to be able to stand on the ground that he is now and show us the work that goes into it. We know they hustled. We know they had to grind. We know they had a lot of stuff they had to overcome. But it just makes us have to progress even more. You know, we were talking about that, and we were talking about adversity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all of the things you may be going through right now is really, when you look at it, it, it almost becomes so what? Because it's not about you. You have, yes. Yeah. You, you know, you see Tyler Perry, he was at one point homeless, he was abused, all of these things, all of these circumstances, and now we are so proud to, to drive the Southwest and we see this this movie set, this right. world. Yeah. But it goes to show you, you know, the scripture, and I'm not going to get all extra with it, but the scripture says all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. Mm -hmm. So all these adversities had to happen for him to get where he was so that he could pull people up because you never know what you're going through and if it's really for you or for the next person you're going to meet. Right. Now, you have been in a couple of plays, so let's talk about that a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> you know, me and you, we talk off air a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, what was the play that you, you were in that you was playing a, um, <clears throat> a dancer? A dancer, a stripper. A stri same thing. I was trying to, you know, use the other call a blade, a boy. Okay, a, a stripper. We. <laughs> what was I was in Anne Delabero Dunlap's production called Church Girl. Church Girl. That was you. Yes. And you had to learn some things, right? Baby, I had to work that. And when I tell you, don't let a stripper hit you. Those are some strong individuals. Oh. Lift your body weight and, and hold yourself you up. You are dumb. You did not. I, I did not. Do, do not get hit. Don't get hit. Okay. No, but it was it was a great experience. And it, it with each role that I take, whether it be theatrical or on the television set, I'm trying to make sure that I learn a lesson. Um, we all have our own stereotypes, whether we want to agree with them or not or acknowledge them or not. But, you know, I was always like, ooh, stupid. And now you have a different I mean, I'm not going to do it. I need a side hustle, but not necessarily that. Right, right. But, um... But, yeah, it's a, it's a completely different world. It's a completely different mindset now that I've gotten an opportunity to do it. I keep up with it still. So. Oh, yeah. And I know you probably got some, some strength in there, too. Oh, we were talking about doing the, the flip-off. Yes. What? Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Um, but let's talk about this. Now, you can sing. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people are finding out 
especially with you being in the play and everything. And, and let me just say that um, the House of Pain cast is so talented, and I've seen the other actresses and actors, you know, all on the Disney Network. And so congratulations to everybody doing their thing. But you are a singer, and you're about to sign a record deal, right? I am in talks with a couple of people, yes. I'm not going to give it up, but I, my, my first passion has always been singing. Um, I was a kid walking around with a pom-pom strap to their head, and you're going to listen to me. Sit down. Everybody stop what you're doing. I'm five. Listen to me sing with you. Oh, I hear that. You sound good. You, well, I, I heard you sing a few times, and you're phenomenal. So you're so oh. talented. Um, Big Happy Family comes out April 22nd, so I just want to get that in there. So everybody get ready for that. And Wow. Any Anybody you want to shout out right now? Because... You know what? I want to shout out to my Tyler Perry family, everybody, not just the House of Pain folks, but also a very special shout out. I don't know if they're listening. Aisha, Faith, uh, Faith Brown, Shell B, the, the Demetrians. I've come to learn. Demetria out there. <laughs> well, well, I, I just love want it. to say hi and thank you for all your support. All right, 10 p.m. TVS. The season premieres tonight. Yay! House of Pain. Demetria, I love you, girl. Yeah, I am. We got to hang out again. You know what we do when we hang out? It's the People Station. Don't you say nothing on the air. <laughs> The People Station V103. I'm telling you, I feel like it's Friday already because there's been so much going on in our V103 studios. <laughs> Demetria McKinney is in the studio with me, but I want to tell you guys first, um, if you want to book a trip without spending a fortune on your hotel, make sure you check this out, all right? V103 and the Expedia Affiliate Network have a great deal. So um, today's deal, you'll spend just $35 for a $75 hotel car valid at over 55,000 resorts and hotels. I'm thinking about the sun and the pool and the ocean right now, like right in this moment. So aren't you? Mm, Shanda. Yes. Love it. V-103.com. So make sure you log on there, okay? And get ready. Diddy Dirty Money coming to the A. Can you do the Diddy Dance, Demetria? From you know, what is I, the difference between the Diddy Dance and the Dougie? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying the, the Dougie never people? Seen the Diddy Dance, the Diddy, oh, you know the shake, the thing. shake. Oh, yeah. No, I, I you know I, the I camera's on. Well. We're streaming live v-103.com. So if you try and do the Diddy Dance, they'll see you. There it is. You you did that swell, Demetria. I know. I swell is not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> just can't. <laughs> Maybe we need to go to happy hour before you do it again. Then yeah. you can really get into it. Something's got to happen. Oh, gosh. Okay. 200 episodes, House of Pain. We were talking about that. Your studio mm -hmm. album that you're actually recording. Heard you went in with some super producers. Some oh really great producers. Huge, huge shout out to um, Peanut, Herman Johnson, and uh, J-Dub, man. It's been an experience. And it's weird because I've worked with Peanut for a few years. You Peanut. Know, I've always wanted to sing. Yeah, you know Peanut. Peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> so I've always worked with him, but you know, his studio is is really really comfortable so mm. i felt you know oh yeah da, 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 da. so i walk in with j-dub and it's a completely different experience that's which how I'm it glad is i've got both of them mm -hmm. you know so i've got a, a nice array of feels on the album i've got nine done um trying to finish up the last three before we release anything but i'm so excited i know you are so, so excited yeah see, do you understand that you being on house of pain means that you're gonna be on tv for about 50 more years you yes. do understand that with 200 episodes and TBS being so gangster, you're going to be on TV forever. Prayerfully, yes. Like good times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody. Yes, and the Cosby Show. Yes, and, and I mean, Cosby. It's, it's nice that we have those references. You know, we still see those on TV land. We still see the Cosby Show on, on Peachtree TV and all these other syndicated channels. Everywhere you go, like Thelma, um, you know, they're going to be Thelma from Good Times. You go, It's going to be like, just y'all, please just don't, don't call say me crackhead, crackhead mama. <laughs> Janine, my name is Demetria, yeah, Mrs. No. Payne, Jasmine's mama. But you're off of crack now on the show. She is no longer, she does not have a habit. <laughs> Um, now she's, well, she's With actually the, traded in one addiction for another. She's a little bit of a, of a working mom now. Okay. So at least she's she's got her priorities together, and she's doing something positive. With okay. It. Well, you know what, Tyler Perry, the movies, the, the television productions always tackle real issues. Yeah. Some people say, 
but his movies be so this and that. I'm like, that's some real stuff. Now, if you don't want to talk about it, you know, it's going to have to be talked about in our community. And so, you know, you got a mom addicted to crack. It's a real thing for a lot of people. So, you know, and I really want to commend Mr. Perry, not to commend it for me, but it was it was with the diary of a mad black woman to go to for colored girls mm -hmm. that thing spans so many different issues that we deal with in our community right. all Absolutely. at the same time and it's something that people i think are, are afraid to do and afraid to discuss but he tackled it and he did it well well I'm when so they told you you know what you're gonna be on crack like how did you get ready now you told me you had to you oh i went you i went there i'm just like i got ready for church girl i had to go to a couple of the, 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 <laughs> the little clubs. joints I went um, to a couple of the wow. places that I knew were habitated by users, um, studied a couple of people who had played it before, you know, from, from comedic roles like the Chappelle show when he right. played. <laughs> oh, you know, Ashy, what's his name? Yes. Oh, my yes. goodness And gracious. then, you know, and, down to, and, uh, to some other people, you know. So I, I definitely studied for the role, but I still wanted to take from my own experiences. I have uncles and aunts dealing with that very cis me situation, too. you know. Me too. So it was an opportunity for that's me to what, walk in their shoes for a moment. That's why I say it's so real. I yeah. mean, a lot of people are like, oh, and then it's always this. But I'm, I'm always like, it's always the happy, the sad, the, you know sort of these these situations that we do that are very real to people i oh, mean yeah. just like you know meth and all of these these unfortunate these substances that have permeated our communities i mean it's it's real topic so i'm just happy to get some comedic relief with it all as well without have, mocking the situation without mocking it yeah and bringing in some type of relief and some type of other perspective and bringing god into it and that's what you know tps does and that's why i'm so that's why i'm so infatuated by the movies and stuff because you'll laugh you'll cry and then of course um, the shows, they're just always fun. Yes. Always yes. fun. Always a little sad. And then they come back with just, you know, God always appears in the end. It's always about what's right. So the whole part is he never left. Never left. Never left. Always there. Okay. Well, you know, it's time. We got to get ready for JC. So um, shout out to everybody who's watch who was watching us, uh, v-103.com. Thank you. And oh, oh, I got I to gotta do a shameless plug. Yeah. Uh, I have a Twitter. I'm yes. somewhat illiterate at moments me because too. I'm running and I apologize for typos and misspellings, but it is me. Demi McKinney is my Twitter name. Um, Spell it. D-E-M as in mommy, I-M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y. That's right. Follow her. And then um, I also have a, have, have a Facebook. I have a Facebook page, mm. Demetria McKinney. You can also check out my new website, DemetriaMcKinney.com. I appreciate all your input. I read everything. I will respond as soon as Ramona lets me breathe. And thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and as soon as we get you out of here, there's a like line full of men like waiting outside the studio. Oh my goodness! Hey. Thank you, Demetria. Thank you. It's Thank so you good to see you again. It's People Station V103. V103 is taking things, things, to, things to another, another level. level for the first time ever. ATL V103. You know how it's going down. BET and Ciroc present. This bad boy. Diddy. I thought I told you that we won't stop. And Dirty Money. You know, you know, you know. Live in concert. <laughs> Dirty Money. Live in concert. Diddy and Dirty Money. Performing live with a full band. On the last train to Paris tour. Turn your radio on. Tuesday, April 26th at the Tabernacle. This will be a star-studded event, and you're invited.